Hey everybody, hope everybody is doing good today. I got another video here for you and this one is going to show you exactly the progression of how they're going to get these vaxes put out to everyone and try their best to get every single person vaxxed. Now check this out. This is where I want to start. Okay, it says a flu shot doesn't always protect you, but amid the CD19 pandemic, it is more important than ever. Really? Even though it doesn't always protect you, you know? It says getting a flu vax this year is even more important than usual because of the CD19 pandemic, according to public health officials. It says we should push for a massive uptake of the vax this year, said John Brownstein, who tracks outbreaks around the world as chief innovation officer at Boston Children's Hospital, everyone who is eligible should get it. it. Says producers are boosting supplies of the flu vax this year to meet what they expect will be a higher demand. CVS stores have the flu vax in stock and vaxes are available as of Monday at Walgreens. So here we go, right? Here come all the flu shots and the push for a flu shot. Okay, listen, he said, they say, Vax maker Sanofi plans to hold a news conference Monday morning announcing that it will produce 15% more Vax than in a normal year. Flu Vax work, and they can take a big burden off our medical infrastructure, John Shiver, global head of Vax researcher and development for the company, said last week. Let's keep people out of the hospital with the flu while we deal with a likely upswing in CV infections two things with their flu vax work didn't you just say right here that it doesn't always work <laughs> and then you know besides that of course that's how they end this right they know what's going to happen a likely upswing hmm how do they always know the plan how do they always know the future unless this is planned out step by step oh um, let's go on let's keep going through the steps okay got some more articles here Check it out with flu season looming. Health experts fear twin demic. Says this is from today, okay? And it says with flu season on the horizon and CV19 cases continuing to rise, doctors fear people will forego getting the influenza vax this year, sparking a major problem for hard hit healthcare facilities. Health experts are warning of a potential twin-demic with both CV and flu seeing a potential case uptick over the winter months, according to the New York Times. For that reason, the CDC director, Dr. Robert Redfield, is urgently pushing people to get a flu shot and for companies to find ways to provide shots to its employees. Yeah, you, yeah, you caught the second part, right? That's right. He's going to keep urging you. Yep, urgently pushing you. Yep, and not only that, oh, well, employers need to be making sure that they provide shots to its employees. Do you hear mandatory vax everywhere? That's what that sounds like to me. Keeps going, says, along those same lines, Dr. Anthony Fauci, the nation's top infection. Why do they say that every single time? You know, think maybe because that's what they want everybody to think of him, that he's that good and, you know. He is saying that the flu shot could at least blunt the effect of one of those two potential respiratory infections. Okay, so hold on. So you want us to take this vax and all that it might do is it might, it might blunt the effect of one of the two things of the flu or the CB and you want us to do this, right? It says the CDC notes flu season happens in the fall and winter months with a usual peak between December and February. The impact of a flu season de varies depending on the year. The CDC says flu activity usually starts to increase around October and continue as late as of May. Flu and CV share some symptoms. Fever, headache, cough, sore throat, muscle aches, and fatigue. Did I not talk about that? You guys remember us all talking, right? Remember us talking how I just kept thinking that they were going to merge these, right? That's why they've kept all the symptoms so vague that when flu season came back, I knew they were going to use it. They could use all those people that die from the flu, say that's truly, you know, CV, and that they can just manipulate everything because you're actually going to have people out there getting sick with the normal flu, and then everybody's going to freak out and say, oh, that's CV. 
That is the reason that they did this. I knew it was coming. I knew they were going to use this fall and winter. See, you know, that's what they're talking to in the fall and winter months, you know, so we need to be prepared. You know, it says doctors fear getting the flu can leave you in a position to, to a harsher case of CV19 and say getting both viruses at once could be a major problem. Currently, there is no bags for CV19. Really? Do you hear how hard they're pushing it? You got to get it because if you don't get the flu bags, well, now you're at a better chance to get CV. Yep, let's keep going. It gets even better. You see schools to require flu shots for all student and staff. Hmm, think maybe this is a dry run because think about it. Oh, well, we'll require everybody to get these, you know, these flu shots that people aren't as scared about, you know, aren't, you know, so we'll try with this. Let's mandate this. Let's see what the reaction is to this, you know. It says a new item back to back school to do list get your flu shot. The University of California announced Friday that all students, staff, and faculty will be required to get a flu shot prior to November 1st. Those with approved medical exemption will not face this new requirement. Yeah, those with approved medical exemptions? Well, we already know that you're just going to make that list so small and you're just going to, it's going to be forced, okay? You know, so we see this happening, right? We see all these stories talking about shoving the flu shot, getting the flu shot. Well, let's just keep going. Walgreens CVS pharmacist to check for CV symptoms, wear face shields during flu shots. Okay, so here they go, right? They're about to start getting out the flu shots. They started yesterday, okay? And now this is what they're saying. Walgreens and CVS pharmacists plan to check patients' temperatures and wear face shields for the first time when delivering flu vaccines. The nation's two largest drugstore chains are now offering the seasonal influenza vax with new precautionary measures. The rollout comes amid swirling concerns about the collision of the CV19 pandemic with the flu season, which is expected to strain the healthcare system. There it is. I'm telling you, that's that. I knew that was coming. They're they're doing it. We all knew they were going to do that. Prior to administration of an immunization, pharmacy team members will take the patient's temperature and screen for the presence of symptom or illness. Immunizations will be deferred if a patient has a fever or other symptoms associated with the illness until after symptoms are resolved, Walgreens said in a statement. Okay, so are they going to, as soon as they see that you have a fever or you, you know, you show, look like you might have one of the symptoms of saved CV, are they just going to tell you, okay, go home, you can't get it? No, they're going to, they already have your information. They put you on a list, then they know right then. You know, this is what it's about, tracking you, tracing you, every bit of it. Okay, so now you see how they are pushing this flu shot so hard. They are going to continue to do this. They are going to continue to blur the lines. They are going to continue to track, trace everything that you do. And by you going and getting this, you know, flu vax or not getting it, that's another way they're going to track you. Now they're making it mandatory like you saw to enter some schools. That's another way to track you or force you into things, okay? Just because we say mandatory doesn't mean, you know, right away that it's going to go to, you know, every single person having somebody knock at their door and force to take a vax. No, it will be done like this. So please um, share this information. It is vitally important that you share this information. This all is tied together, okay? This is one big, you know, t targeted attack on all of us, okay? And please check out the other video that I'm going to work on right after this, and it will be all about how Trump has already come out and said the government will be using their, you know, their troops to administer these vaxes. So please share that information, check out that video. We'll uh, continue to pray against all this that's going on right now. And uh, we'll talk to you real soon. God bless.